right down there, Captain. All right, let's take a look, Sergeant. Stay here. too wide. Take us too long to get a bridge across here. It'll be dark soon. We'll try again in the morning. All we gotta do is find a narrow spot in the river. We almost got our heads shot off twice today already. The captain handles himself okay, though.
Go ahead. That's Lieutenant Hanley over there, Mr. Cole. Lieutenant Hanley? Cole? I've been expecting you. Come on. Read your stuff from Anzio. Pretty good. Thank you. Here, you can store your stuff right in this pocket. It's empty. You might find a little dull around here. We're helping division engineers scout a river for a bridge crossing. You're still sending out combat patrols, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Well, that's good enough for me. I understand there's a Captain Cole with you. Yeah, he checked in a few days ago. You related? Yeah, I'm related. Right into a patrol. Anybody else hit? No. Want to place the bridge? Well, we're going to have to go out again in the morning. Oh, this is Jack Cole, correspondent with the Boston Press. Up here to write some stories. Kirby, true stories. <laughs> Sergeant Saunders, Kirby, Aye. Little John, Aye. King, Aye. Dot, Cage. Aye. Aye. Kirby, uh, spell K I R B Y. Cole, spelled C-O-L-E. <laughs> uh, you're not related to our captain from engineers, are you? Just his old man, Kirby. That's right. Jason. And Vic Morrow. some. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, last time I saw you, you were in college. Before the war. That's right. I visited your mother's grave before I came over. Sorry, I uh, couldn't get there before, but by the time the letter caught up with me... Uh, yeah. Well, sure. I, uh, I got a lot of paperwork ahead of me. I'll be seeing you around. Sure. We got hit here. This is a heavy patrol area. And this is where we'll be going out again in the morning. Okay. Cole will probably go with you. You mean the correspondent? Yeah. We got the word from the headquarters. Oh, well, we'll operate, huh? Saunders, fill you in? Yes, sir. How about a drink, Hanley? Fine. Sarge. We're sharing security with a big company tonight. Kirby, Little John, you're up first. Okay. Uh, hey, 
What if I take that correspondent with me, huh? I'll just uh, fill him in a little bit on how we've been winning the war and everything. Okay? Well, Doc, fix this up, will you? Okay. He knows how to spell your name. Don't worry. Oh, Case, what are you talking about? I'll just do you guys a favor. I mean, you can't go out there and talk about yourself, can you? I can tell him about your medals. I reluctantly admit you got about 12. You never show anybody. I'll bet you'll talk about me. Yeah, there was some family reunion over there. Yeah, it was. You know, it kind of reminds me of the time my old man and I squared off. <laughs> Who won that one? Well, I started to, but I was so scared of hurting him that, uh... Well, I ended up getting knocked cold. Did he beat you up? Was he bigger than you? Are you kidding? Nobody's bigger than that moose. <laughs> my dad, he was always threatening to give me a good wallop. <laughs> Never did, though. Well, maybe when the war's over, will you be able to take him? No, he's dead now. You know, the captain's really a nice guy, isn't he? Yeah, he sure is. I don't know, it seems... Might be kind of funny, though, having an old army man for a papa. Yeah, growing up would be kind of like uh, one long inspection. <laughs> I bet you that's why Cole's not in the army. But... Just uh, didn't know what to say. <laughs> Funny, isn't it? I thought it might be different. I mean, it's been a long time. But the minute Jack and I came face to face, the old hindsight department started working all over again, wondering about all the mistakes, the wrong moves while he was growing up. One other? No. Am I boring it? No. You know, I've trained hundreds, thousands of boys. I did a good job, too. But when it came to my own kid, I couldn't get through to him. His mother, she, uh, she didn't like the army. Guess I couldn't blame her, only, uh, well, I couldn't have been all wrong. I mean, about discipline, respect, the right and wrong ways to get things done. I tried to teach him, but he'd always turn to her. How does it all end up? A couple of million guys fighting their guts out all over the world, and my son winds up in the front lines with a typewriter. From what I've read, he's doing a pretty good job. Yeah, sure. Well, I've done enough belly aching. Let's get to work. <laughs> Thank you. Kirby. Hey, that's right. Yeah, William G. at your service. Mind if I ask you a few questions? <laughs> Not a bit. Yeah. As a matter of fact, you probably came to just the right source. I mean, most of the guys in our outfit are kind of shy and... Well, they don't talk much, but every last one of them's got a story to tell. You know, some of them you wouldn't even believe. Is that right? Yeah. Of course, not much has happened to us lately. I thought you ran into some trouble today. Oh, there's nothing to that. A couple of dozen crowds jumped us on the way back home, but... <sighs> that kind of stuff is hardly worth talking about. You talk about danger. Last week, this machine gun had me pinned down. It's about 50 yards in front of me, and I was out on point. Tell me about today. Today? Well, like I told you, it's nothing but a skirmish. Guess Last week... Captain's a pretty tough guy in the field, huh? Yeah, yeah. Of course, 
He's been a soldier all his life, you know. He knows exactly what he's doing. Well, you, you know more about that than anybody, don't you? See, it was a 50 down there hidden in the bushes. Before I know it, the I'm... The other guys think of him. Who? Captain. Oh. Well, they think he's fine. See, he's sitting right down there, right in the middle of no place. I didn't think... Kirby, was... you got security, remember? What, right now? Well, that's what the Sarge said. Hey, uh, you can tell me a story. Yeah. Listen, uh, well, I'll try to get together with you later, okay? Sure. I'll, uh, be around for the next couple of days. Say, uh, there's a patrol in the morning, isn't there? Well, yeah, we're going out with the captain again, I think. I'll see you then. Fair enough. Well, Lou Young, let's go see if there are any crowds out there on our perimeter. You know who the captain is? Oh, yeah, he's in Lieutenant Hanley's tent. Thank you. Hero, wait for me. Let's go. How much time do we have, Captain? Four or five days at the outside before the push starts. Crowds will probably double their patrols. We'll start at daybreak. All right, Captain. I'll be going along too, Lieutenant. No, you won't. Lieutenant Hanley, I requested frontline duty. My order specifically states. I don't care what your orders state. You're not going out on my patrol, and that's final. Good night, Sergeant. Good night, Captain. Sure. Can he do that? Yes, Cole, I'm afraid he can. It's the captain's patrol. That's what we need, a private view. Yeah. How's the arm? Oh, it's fine, Dr. Kerr. Uh, looks on as you uh, stay around camp tomorrow and get some rest. I'll take the patrol out. I better handle this one. Right. <laughs> question. Why? Because I said so. Because you said so. It's hard to believe. It's hard to believe that after all these years you haven't changed one bit. You haven't changed much yourself, boy. You still got a big mouth. I want to know why you won't let me go out in that patrol. We'll have enough to do without worrying about bringing you back in one piece. I can take care of myself. Still can't talk to each other, can we? Look, Captain, I got a job to do. All I ask is let me do it. Catch a bend a little just once in your life. Let me go on that patrol. Good night. contact with the crowds if possible. Let's move out. Cole? I thought she was going with us. Kirby, let's go. Maybe he wasn't invited. Be about two miles from the river. Roger out.
coffee? Yeah, thanks. How you doing? The whole war to write about? I end up here. It's quite a coincidence, isn't it? No. I guess I was dumb enough to figure if we came face to face out here, we'd forget our own private little war. I should have known better. Maybe he figures this isn't the time or the place. You like him too, don't you? Sure, why not? It can save us a couple of days by throwing that bridge across the river. Well, that's good enough for me. up ahead. The river should be just around the bend. Okay, let's go, Keen. We'll wait here. Should have seen Kirby trying to snow that rider last night. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> you think he bought any of it? Well, I don't think he's writing fiction. Nah. Look, you guys laugh at me if you want to, but I'll be famous back home. You can bet on that. <laughs> now, that correspondent, he'll know a good story when he hears one. What's the matter, Kirby? Couldn't you think of one last night? <laughs> well, I couldn't think of nothing that fast. <laughs> Besides, I thought he was going to be out here with us today. All he'd get out here is a couple of sore feet. You think I was wrong, not letting him come with us? It's your patrol, Captain. I just don't think civilians got any business up on the front lines. Lieutenant! All clear. All right, then, let's get moving. Perfect spot. That road we passed will be able to handle all our equipment, too. Let's go. I'm on my way. Bye. 
just flying around that the Germans are planning a push of their own. The old man wants a first-hand report before he greenlights that bridge. I'll be back as soon as I can. Yes, sir. I understand you've only been up here three days, is that right? Yeah, this is my first squad assignment. Where are you from, Keene? Nebraska. Little town called Sedeca. Hey, you're not gonna write about me, are you? Why not? Because I haven't done anything. I mean, the other guys, they've been up here a long time. They could really give you a story. Yeah, I'll catch up with them. Anyway, for the record, how old are you? Eighteen. I'll be 19 next August. Boy, will my mother be surprised to see my name in the paper. Yesterday, was it uh, your first time under fire? Yeah. I was really scared, too. I was firing, but I don't know if I even hit anybody. They had me pretty well pinned down. As a matter of fact, if it hadn't been for your father, I mean, the captain, I probably wouldn't be here right now. What do you mean? Well, yesterday he dropped this crowd who had me cold turkey. And today I froze up when I saw this half track barreling down on me. He pushed me behind some cover before they saw me, though. You know, he's the one you ought to write your story on. You got any brothers or sisters? No, just mom and me. Where'd you take basic? New Jersey. It was really cold. Uh, I thought I was going to freeze. So anyway, after, uh, after England, they split us up again, and I'd be coming here without any of the guys that I trained with. Give me. C Company's recon patrol caught it about an hour ago. The company wants more information on what the Krauts are up to. They want these two sectors checked out. You take Cage, what's left of Peterson squad, check out this area. The rest of the men are with me. All right, Lieutenant. How about me, Lieutenant? Okay, Cole, get ready. Headquarters said they were sending you out to check over some new crowd movement. I just got the call, sir. I'll go along with you. It could affect that bridge site. All right, let's go. Handley. Where is he going? He's going with us, sir. Not with me, he's not. This is my patrol, sir. Now, wait a minute, Lieutenant. Captain, he has specific orders allowing him to accompany our missions. Headquarters sent him down here to report our action, and I've been told to cooperate. You had command decision on your mission, but this is my patrol, sir. I didn't ask for him to come here, but he's here. He requested this patrol, and I've agreed to it. All right, let's move it. Kirby, point. <laughs>
Geh mit Sieg für der linken Seite. Peter, du und Karl in den Graben nach rechts. Yes, sir. But I wish I had more ammunition. We'll have enough. Just squeeze them off carefully. Yes, sir. No, sir. No word yet. Over. Yes, sir. Will do. Roger out. sent for some heavy stuff.
spill. I spill. Sure, I, I was just trying to be careful and make sure I didn't want waste okay. anything. <laughs> Don't try to talk. Lie still. Lie still. Sir, I, I was trying to be careful and make sure that I didn't waste any. Don't try to talk. <coughs> Sir, I... All right, kid, take it easy. Sarge, it's Doc. They're pinned down in that farmhouse, Sarge. About a mile west of the ravine. Get them to a field hospital. Cage, get a patrol ready. I'll call them in a major. Right, Sarge. You got it. Let's go. an hour. You think they're sweating us out until after dark? I don't think they'll wait that long. Chance. Do we? No. 
this is no place to talk about us, I guess, but uh, a couple of things I'd like to get off my chest. Wish I knew how to say this. I mean, uh, well, I'd like you to know that I'm sorry for, well, for everything. Look, you don't have to... Let me finish, Jack. This is something I should have told you a long time ago. I know what you think of me. And I guess I don't blame you. I wasn't much of a father. Tell the truth, I never should have gotten married in the first place. I mean, when I was your age, all I really cared about was having a good time. I guess I was never really satisfied unless I was on the move, being where the action was. Yeah. Your mom, she, uh, well, all she really wanted was a permanent home and a husband who'd take roots. That wasn't for me. We tried to get together, but we just wanted different things. When you came along, it made it even rougher for both of us. I tried to make a go of it, but it was no good. I just wasn't ready to settle down. She deserved something better. And so did you. You know, she loved you. Right to the end. She always said that falling in love with you was the worst thing that ever happened to her. And the best. I know. I guess I felt the same way. When I got a little older, I tried to make it up to her, but you two had grown so close, it just seemed I was in the way. It wasn't her fault. It was mine. See, every time you went away, she seemed so lonely, I, I tried to make up for it. I wasn't old enough to understand that she loved you for what you were, not what she wanted you to be. Remembering back in all those fights we had, I, I realized how I started most of them. You were just a kid. No, I knew better. Well... I just wanted you to understand that uh, I'm sorry we never got to know each other. And uh, well, I think it turned out pretty good. You know what I mean. Dad, I came a long way to hear that. I should have come to you a long time before this, but I always found some excuse for not doing so. I was wrong. Guess we both were.
Captain, you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Well, come on, give me a hand. You've got a story to write, haven't you? Yeah, I got a story. <laughs>